The day before was a scam. I know. Barbie Succession Lead Global Globes 2024 nominees. What the fuck is this? Day, what is this? Is this another thing? Weekend. Like the, I have been the this Hunger like the Games movie awards? To see the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, and I feel like a total teenager again. Reliving my Hunger Games. You're still playing so GTA Online? Katniss Braid, just know I'm deep in it. I'm you gonna play GTA 6 when it comes out? Fix. The 2024 Golden Globes nominees have been announced. Uncharted 2's script is apparently finished, and Studio Ghibli's latest movie had a great opening weekend. Okay, that's fine. Hyper Car Garage. I don't even know what that is. Entertainment. Well, look, award nominations for 2024 were just announced on the ceremony's website. The top nominees are Succession and Barbie. With I don't play or I don't watch a whole lot of movies, man. Eight, while Killers of the Flower Moon has seven. The Last of Us on HBO and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse had three nominations <clears> as well. What's the Golden Globe? Taylor Swift, The Eras Tour was also nominated for the Cinematic and Box Office Achievement category, along with Barbie, Oppenheimer, and the Super Mario Brothers movie. This is like movie of the year. Year? And yes, that is an award category for movies that made the most money at the box office. You'd think that the money was enough, but not. Nah, they need a trophy too. That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, those movies have all gotten plenty of hype this year, but I was super happy to see Only Murders in the Building get five nominations in Best TV Series, Best Performance by a Female Actor in Television Series for Selena Gomez, Best Performance by a Male Actor in a Television Series for both Steve Martin and Martin Short, and Best Performance by a Female Actor in a Supporting Role on Television, Meryl Streep. It's about time Meryl Streep got some recognition. I don't understand. What is this? But seriously, I love Only Murders in the Building. It is a fantastic, oddly feel-good show about a murder mystery, and I'm really glad to see it get so many nominations amongst the other fantastic TV shows out this year. This will be oh, this is like the movie award. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association, or the okay. HFPA, will receive the final ballot soon, and they'll vote on the winners by plurality voting. So, the candidate that gets the most votes in each category wins, and if there's a tie, they'll look at who had the most votes on the nomination ballot. The is this already out? Will Who's, what's the, okay, in you guys' opinion, what's the movie of the year? Who's, the, what is the movie of the year? You tell me. It will air Sunday, January 7th, 2024, at 5 p.m. PT. What are you hoping will win each category? Let us know. Apparently there's categories. From Golden Globes to Golden Abysses, maybe? Mark Wahlberg said that the script for the second Uncharted movie has been finished, which is exciting news because it hasn't even been officially announced. In an interview with the direct, Wahlberg talked about the sequel and gave a little insight into its development. Wahlberg said, I've heard lots of different ideas. I know somebody's written a Uncharted script. Uncharted 2? I haven't even seen the first one. And it would consist of having the mustache the whole entire time, which Bugatti makes sense. Baron, Chiron, Onsigig, Pagani, Ferrari, LaFerrari, what the but hell is that? I have one until Uncharted's post credit scene. Not sure what I know their vehicles. The origin story from I don't think I've watched a movie I mean, that released this year. I saw Barbie. I saw Lord Oppenheimer. Pistols during the credits. I guess it's only fair. After well over a decade, Five in Nights at Freddy's. The Uncharted movie was movie. finally released in 2022 as a prequel to the original Naughty Dog Leo. series. And Leo it was brought a good in $139 million at the global box office. Barbie was shocking. Weekend. Barbie wasn't so that good. Not surprising we're getting another. Sick Parvis Magna, I guess? Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group chairman and CEO Tom Rothman said Uncharted was a new hit movie. I'm nice Freddy was a good movie. Producer Charles Rovin also said he was definitely looking to adapt the adventures of Nathan Drake and Sully further for a sequel. There you go, so if Nathan this Drake. If finished, let's hope the sequel doesn't spend as long in development hell as the first one did. Then again, Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland might have aged enough to resemble their actual in-game counterparts by then. Yeah, for real. Speaking of amazing opening weekends for films, Studio Ghibli's The, the Boy, Boy and the and Heron, the Heron. The domestic box office this weekend. Anybody seen that? The Boy and the Heron? Million dollars in Thoughts? Comscore Have you reported seen it? that the international sales were $101.4 million, and globally, the never played the any of the game, read any of the books, or watched anything to do with it. The Five Nights at Freddy's? Suspected oh, to be the games are okay. His last film since he came out of retirement to make it, but movie was Ghibli's good. producer Toshi Suzuki shared that he's already working on the next movie. Suzuki said he's thinking about this next project every day, and I can't stop him. I don't think anything can beat Graveyard of the Fireflies. Him, even if he were to make a failed film. Masterpiece. In life, it's only the work that delights him. 
If you're keeping track, Miyazaki has been talking about retiring since shortly after Princess Mononoke released, and that was in 1997. I'm definitely not complaining, his movies make people happy, and if he's happy making them, good for him. Yeah, but it's a real. bit of a boy who cried wolf situation. Or maybe boy who cried carrot? Studio Ghibli Vice President Junichi Nishioka said the story of the boy and the heron was a personal one for Miyazaki. On speaking about Miyazaki's previous film inspirations, Nishioka said The Wind Rises was inspired by his early days as an animator. With The Boy and the Heron, Miyazaki wanted to go back even further to his childhood. Miyazaki grew up during World War II, and the film's opening scene shows Mahito, the main character, running through Tokyo after an air raid from the U.S. military. The Boy and the Heron is a much more serious tone than previous Ghibli Sounds films, right. and production lasted seven years, with 60 animators working to hand draw each shot. This is one of the most expensive Japanese films ever made, and Nishioka said, so in effect you're seeing an independent film here. We didn't have to lock the picture at a certain date because we didn't have any release commitments. It was very much Suzuki's idea. He wanted to see what kind of picture Miyazaki could make without time constraints. Congratulations to Studio Ghibli for be good. releasing The Boy and the Heron after such a long process and Boy and the Heron. sounding success. I should see what that. What TV series did you watch this weekend? Did you see The Boy and the Heron? I don't Let think us know I what you thought watched, of it. I didn't watch anything this weekend. We watched One Piece. <laughs> we, we saw Erased. I'm still a chum. Erased is all right. You're all caught up on entertainment news. If you're looking for something else to watch, check out our own IGN The Best Movie of 2023 nominees. Be sure to follow us on all of your socials, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, IGN. My teacher tried to show us in primary school, and after the opening scene, the whole class noped out and put it in Pokemon 2001 instead. Really? Graveyard of Fireflies or Grave of Fireflies? I can't remember. I think it's Graveyard. Great, maybe Grave. It's amazing. Immaculate. Great movie. Let me know what you guys think. Who, what's the best movie? Maybe I'll watch it and do a review. You know? Maybe.